Hi, this is Jeppe Argenziano from Naples, Italy, and today I would like to share with you a few thoughts about melanoma in congenital melanocytic nevi. Uh, the, the three points uh, I would like to share with you are the following. Uh, congenital melanocytic nevi can really be considered as a true melanoma precursor. So if there is a melanoma precursor, this is congenital melanocytic nevus. The second point is that management is still related to, uh, to the size of the nevus, but be careful about, about uh, small congenital melanocytic nevi. Okay, so first of all, a definition. Congenital nevi are basically amatomas which are present at birth or appearing before puberty, eh? in the years before puberty. And they are classified, as I told you before, based on the size because of the risk of developing melanoma. Eh? Here you can see why uh, uh, congenital nevi are considered amatomas because they are not only representing a proliferation of melanocytes but also a proliferation of keratinocytes as you can see here for the presence of terminal hairs and this papillomatous surface. Huh? The second point, they can be present at birth but also they can appear in the, in the, in the first a uh, uh, few years after, before puberty. Uh, here you see a young girl uh, which was, who was born only with one nevus, the nevus in the, in the circle, uh, which is the larger one. But all the rest of the nevi appeared in, uh, afterwards, eh? in the first few years uh, uh, after, after uh, she was born. But don't you think that they belong to the same family? In my view, yes, they belong to all of them to the same family of the so called congenital nevi. Eh? And third point, yeah, they are. Uh, congenital nevi are uh, still classified based on their size eh? because of the various uh, variable risk of developing melanoma and we know very well that uh, the, the, um, the greater is the nevus diameter the higher is the chance that a melanoma can develop within a pre-existing congenital nevus. Uh, on the left you can see a very complicated classification ba uh, in, uh, in which you can see uh, let's Say seven, uh, yeah, seven variants of congenital nevi. In my view, it's much easier to remember. Um, uh, uh, we have a small congenital nevus which is up to two centimeter, a medium sized congenital nevus between two and twenty centimeter, and a large congenital nevus more than twenty centimeter. Eh? And now let's speak for a moment about the melanoma risk. As I told you before, the higher the the the, uh, the, the diameter of the lesion the higher the risk of developing melanoma. And this is one of the most extensive reviews, uh, systematic reviews uh, published a few years ago um, about the risk of congenital nevi, which uh, is supposed to be less than 1% overall. Eh? So less than 1% is the risk of developing melanoma, but of course uh, many more congenital nevi are developing, uh, larger congenital nevi are developing melanoma than the smaller ones. Eh? The median uh, 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 age uh, is seven years in which eventually a melanoma can develop and of course the risk uh, is higher for congenital nevi larger than 40 centimeter. Eh? But what is a little bit the problem in this review? Eh? Uh, the bias is that in the previous study, uh, the, uh, uh, the included lesions were only congenital uh, nevi of the medium and large size. So no small congenital nevi were, were included and therefore not too much is, uh, uh, is known about the risk of small congenital nevi. Well, in our experience, it is true that the risk increases by the increase increasing size, but the majority of melanomas arise in small congenital nevi because they are much more frequent in real life. Eh? This is a study we published just recently in which we uh, put together our 
cases of uh, uh, melanoma arising in their pre-existing congenital nevus. And you can see here that the greatest majority of, in our collection of melanomas arising in congenital neva are uh, arising in small congenital neva. And as you can see here in the discussion, uh, we uh, pointed out that it's, it's true that giant neva carry the higher risk to develop melanoma, but due to their low prevalence in the general pro population, it is very uncomfortable common to find a melanoma associated to a large congenital nevus in the root insecting. In contrast, although the risk is very low for small congenital neva, they are relatively, relatively frequent in the general population. Thus, it is more probable to find the melanoma associated to small congenital neva in a real clinical setting. Uh, this is the uh, age of our patients with uh, 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 melanoma uh, associated to a congenital nevus. So basically, any age is possible uh, that a congenital nevus can develop a melanoma. Here are a few examples. Uh, a, a young boy, 11-year-old, lesion located on the back. And you can see here, this is a small congenital nevus with a melanoma. And um, this is a second case. It's a girl, 14 years old, lesion located on the back. This is an intermediate-sized congenital nevus. And again, uh, early melanoma developing into uh, a pre-existing congenital nevus. Again, here, uh, a small, relatively small congenital nevus uh, with a melanoma. As you can see, repetitively, we can uh, see melanoma very easily uh, because of the presence of this blue-white veil. And here you see a 45 five-year-old lady with uh, a, a congenital nevus of intermediate size of the leg which developed uh, a more advanced melanoma. So, in summary, eh, this, this is what I wanted to share with you. Congenital melanocytic neva are the only true melanoma precursor. It's a, the risk is very low, but I mean, in, in, it's not zero. Um, the management of congenital neva is still related to the size because the, uh, the, uh, the higher the, the size, the higher the uh, risk of developing melanoma. But be careful uh, about small congenital neva because in the real clinical setting, these are the neva which are more easily associated with uh, a melanoma uh, which develops into a congenital nevus. Thank you.